there's been a remarkable uh, step change in brain PET scanner technology in the last year with the development of the United uh, Neuro Explorer scanner. For the first time in 20 years, it's the first time that somebody's developed a dedicated brain PET scanner. This machine is, is fabulous. We just have one now at, at Jing, and uh, this is thanks to Fox. And I think we really see the value in such a machine. It has transformative uh, specifications. It images at 1.4 millimeters. Most brain scanners before this were imaging at around sort of 4.5 millimeters. So it's a bit like, you know, looking at images through an old box brownie and a sort of modern high resolution digital camera. It's it's remarkable some of the structures you can see. And why is this so important for Parkinson's? Because some of the key areas where alpha synuclein accumulates and where um, we see dopamine neuronal loss, they're in small structures like the substantia nigra. These things are sort of half a centimeter across. So you, you actually need really high resolution imaging to be able to, to actually develop alpha synuclein traces in the first place and to image those changes over time.